Hi there, I'm Photo Joseph, and you're watching a series of my Lumix GH5 samples. This is part two, so if you missed part one, click here to jump to the playlist and start from the beginning. The focus tracking for stills photography on the GH5 is nothing short of incredible. While I haven't shot action with a Canon or Nikon in a few years, I can say, hand on heart, that I have never experienced this kind of action autofocus performance. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that the custom autofocus settings for still photos are completely separate from the settings for video. So these are all shot with the same basic default continuous autofocus settings. Even still, it did amazingly well. All the photos you'll see here are JPEGs from camera. Some are edited for exposure, most untouched though. Um, thing is, no software other than a proprietary Windows app from Panasonic can read the raw files yet, so JPEG it is. The first sequence is 36 frames with a brief pause or two between some sequences. I would have just lifted my finger briefly once or twice. Um, note especially that not only is Justin, the snowboarder, coming toward me and stays in focus throughout, but even as he's completely lost in the snow, the instant he reemerges, he's in focus. You'll see these first scaled down to fit the UHD frame, so you see the entire shot, and then again cropped at 3840 by 2160, so you see them at 100%. To truly see the camera's performance, be sure you've set YouTube to play the 4K version. Now I'm next to the jump, panning to follow him. Notice that Justin comes from behind a rock. While I, of course, know where he's coming from, the camera can't focus on him until he's in view. The first shot that you see here is the first one that I shot. There was no out of focus earlier photo as he entered the frame. Also notice that even though the snow is spraying and obscuring him, the camera never loses focus on the rider himself. Again, first you'll see these filling the frame and then add a 100% crop. And now for 6K photo. If you're not familiar with it, 6K and 4K photo mode basically shoot H.265 video, but A, 
It's in the stills photo four to three aspect ratio instead of a video 16 by nine aspect ratio. B, it automatically defaults to a higher shutter speed and C, it shoots MOS, silent. The purpose of 6K and 4K photo is not to be a video, but is to extract a single frame as a photo. 6K is 18 megapixels and 4K is eight megapixels. 6K photo shoots at 30 frames per second. 4K can shoot at 60 frames per second. Think about that for a moment. Thanks for watching part two. Be sure to thumbs up or thumbs down this video and to subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to watch the 10 minute detailed explanation video of the GH5's autofocus settings. I wish I'd learned that before these tests, but I'll be sure to do more autofocus tests as soon as I can. Next up, part three is about low light performance.